Here's a nice little question uh, in which we have been given the charge of an electron, which is negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb, and we have a given uh, charge, and we want to find out how many electrons are actually in there. We've got already some indication. So how are we going to uh, address this uh, question? So what do we know? We know that we have uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb pro per electron. That is what we have uh, in a charge. Or we can also uh, turn this round and we can say that we have uh, per electron it is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb. So that is what we've been given. And we also have been given the charge, the total charge. So we've got 5 times 10 to the power of 8 nano coulomb. And the tricky bit here is this nano. And we need to know that nano actually stands just simply for 10 to the power of negative 9. So we can write this here as 5 times 10 to the power of 8, that's this first part, times 10 to the power of negative 9 Coulomb. Now, we need to use our knowledge of exponents. So, 10 to the 8 times 10 to the minus 9, we just simply can add the exponents. So, that's 10, 8 to the power of 8 minus 9 Coulomb, and that is just simply 5 times 10 to the power of minus 1 Coulomb. And now what we do is we just simply take this one here, and we take this one here. We are looking for the number of electrons. So here the number of electrons, that is what we want. So we have number of electrons divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb, and we just simply multiply it by 5 times 10 to the power of minus 1 Coulomb, so we see the unit Coulomb cancels out, and all we have left is the number of electrons, and that is what we were looking for, so we have the number of electrons, electrons is 5 times 10 to the minus 1 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19. And we can put that into a calculator. So I've got a calculator here. So we've got 5 times 10 to the power of minus 1 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. And we get 3.125 times 10 to the power of 18. So let's write that down. Equals 3.125 times 10 to the power of 18. Now, of course, we need to be careful with the number of significant figures. So we would really give it only to one significant figure. So that would be 3 times 10 to the power of 18. And this is the number of our electrons. So this is how you can address this question. I hope it makes sense and thank you very much for watching.